Hi everyone. In this lesson, we'll be modeling this part into Inventor Professional 2016. This part is obviously in metric, so I'm gonna go to new. Going to metric folder and double click standard.ipt. You may pause this video to screen capture our 3D spec. So this part is obviously symmetric. So let's start creating a sketch. Instead of going here, I can press letter L for line. So now we're prompted to select a plane. I'm going to select XY plane, left click. So it's 20, 40, and 20. I'm going to create the upper profile, the upper line. So 22, 23, and it's something around 31. Left click, left click, left click. Left click, left click, just left clicking. Okay, so no need to worry. Gonna hit escape. So now we have this profile. Don't worry, so if we see this one as being diagonal, I can go here to constraints, vertical, left click and Select this one. Another technique is I can select this one. I'm going to press Control and right click and select vertical. So it saves a lot of time instead of going here. Okay. So let's make this vertical as well. This one. Control left click, vertical. This one to be horizontal, left click and control right click, horizontal. The tool is still active, so I'm gonna select this one. This one. Notice that we have an access. So we can go to trim. Take note, the shortcut for that is letter X. I'm going to press letter X and select this one to trim. I'm going to press escape. Now according to our drawing, this one is 40. So instead of going here, I'm going to press letter D, the shortcut for dimension. Letter D. So now it's active. I'm going to select this one, left click, left click. Left click, key in, 40. Another one, this one, and this one to be 20. This one and this one, 20 again. So we, I'm going to hit escape to disable dimension. Now I'm going to left click this one, hold left click and drag. Same for this as well, this one too. So moving forward, this one is 12 millimeters. So left click, going to the right, key in a value of 12. So next one, the dimension tool is still active. I'm gonna select this one and this one and this is also 12. I'm going to press escape. So notice that this one should be collinear with the other. So I'm going to left click this one. I'm going to hit control, left click, control, right click, and select collinear. So my collinear tool is still active. I'm going to select this one and this one. I'm going to press escape. Hit dimension again, left click this one, 
and this one and key in 24 I'm gonna press escape and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to move this one just to determine what constraints do I need so obviously this one the midpoint here and the midpoint here should be aligned together now to do that I can go to my vertical constraint left click to select and find the midpoint of this line so take note as I move to the middle notice it gave me a green dot so selecting this midpoint and this one as well so notice they are both vertically aligned so I can now press escape and I'm gonna try to move this so this one needs to be fully constrained notice on the upper right the value is 60 millimeters so I'm gonna press letter D for dimension select this one and this one and key in a value of 60 I'm gonna press escape and try to move this one again notice that there's one thing missing so this one needs to be aligned on our origin so again I'm gonna go to vertical constraint select this midpoint and align this one with our origin I hit escape again I'm gonna align this point into this line so I'm gonna go to horizontal constraint I'm gonna select this point and our origin so notice it is now fully constrained I know that because it turned into a blue color moving forward because I know that we'll be extruding this profile now I can go to finish sketch but I can press letter E the shortcut for extrude pressing letter E notice that it automatically detected the profile so the length of our extrusion is 120 millimeters I can select this arrow and drag it to the right now in this dialog I can key in 120 and hit the green check mark okay next let's create the tombstone looking feature I'm gonna press Control shift C the shortcut for circle now it prompts me to select a plane I'm gonna go to our browser going to origin and selecting our YZ plane left click to select so I'm in the circle tool I'm gonna press left click so the radius of the arc is 25 so I can right click and select radius and now key in a value of 25 gonna hit escape and we're gonna press letter L for a line I'm gonna left click here up to this point so left click I'm gonna hit shift and press my middle mouse button to rotate so another tip I can press F7 to slice so notice is it sliced the graphic F7 to toggle 
Now going back back to right view. Again, pressing letter L for line. Left click. And drop my point here. I'm going to press escape. And control shift C again for a circle. Now for our center point, I'm going to left click here. Right click to make sure that it's in diameter and finally key in 20 pressing enter I'm gonna hit escape the height of our circle the distance between this point and here is 42 so I'm gonna press letter D left click this one and this one key in 42 Gonna hit escape. I'm gonna press F8 to reveal our constraints. F8. So notice this one needs to be tangent, and here this one as well. So I'm gonna select this line and our circle. Pressing Control and left click, Control again and right click, and select tangent. I'm gonna pan. The tangent constraint tool is still active, so left click this one and our circle. Gonna hit escape. We need to make this line vertical. So you'll be tempted to select this one to make this vertical. Now if I left click, notice that it's giving me an error. I'm gonna hit cancel. Now the reason for that, take note, that we're not in the XY plane. So notice that this is letter Z. So definitely, our tool of choice should be this one, horizontal. So left click, notice that it should be the horizontal tool to make this one vertical so left click to select so now it's fully constrained I'm gonna hit escape I'm gonna press F7 to disable slice graphics I'm gonna go to home view I'm gonna rotate and press letter E for extrude for our profile Selecting this one for extents. I'm going to select between. So this one will be this face and this face. I'm going to hit OK. Let's now proceed in creating the rib here. So to do that, I'm going to go to YZ plane, right click, use sketch. I'm going to press F7 to slice graphics. I'm going to press letter L for a line, selecting this endpoint. Left click. Left click. Selecting this one. Control, left click. Control, right click and select tangent. I'm going to press escape. Select this one. Right click and make this as construction line. So now I'm going to go to finish sketch and selecting the rib tool. Left click. I'm going to select parallel to sketch plane and select this line. So the thickness it's 12 millimeters. So now I'm going to click OK. And finally we're finished creating the part 
based on the 3D drawing. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this basic part modeling exercise. And I hope to see you soon on the next video. Thanks for watching.